All right, guys, home here in uh, self-quarantine in, uh, in Oklahoma, trying to do some things to uh, pass the time. I figured I would show you today a quick lesson on how to play lead guitar. This is not anything fancy at all. The whole purpose of this is to get you up and playing and exploring a lead guitar as fast as you possibly can. Uh, with a minimum amount of knowledge, music theory, anything like that, you can play lead guitar after just a few minutes. So my goal is to try to do this in under 10 minutes. There's a pattern that you're going to need to know that's called the minor pentatonic scale. That's where we're going to start. Here's the pattern for it. We're going to start index finger at the fifth fret. Basically, I want you to think of a four fret box from the fifth to the eighth. Fifth to the eighth. Each finger, as you learn your scales, is going to have a, a fret assigned to it. In this case, we're going to do a very simple pattern that's just going to use first and third and pinky finger. So here's the first, it's going to be two notes per string, which makes it really easy to learn. And then you just want to memorize this pattern and practice the pattern so that you know it blindfolded up and down. Uh, so here's the way it goes. Five, eight. Next string. Fifth string, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven. That covers all our middle strings. Five, eight, just like the first one we did. Five, eight. Now that doesn't sound like much until you start connecting it together. Let the notes ring. To go backwards, just reverse the order. Eight, five, switch strings. Eight, five, switch strings. Seven, five, switch strings. Seven, five, switch strings. Seven, five, eight, five. So I just went through it just nice and steady. You want to do these just nice and slowly till your fingers learn the pattern. Don't try to get too fast until you know the pattern. Uh, now, let me show you how this is going to work. The key to this is knowing what your A major or A minor chord shape is. It's going to work with either one of those because it's a pentatonic scale. So if you're playing a song that has like... something like that so you're going to have that shape your a power chord or your a bar chord there so what you're going to do is where that line is where your bar is that's where the top of your pattern is so let me play along here i'm going to just start a backing track that is in a an a minor blues but I'm just gonna go through the steps. I want you to listen to the tones. I was just playing notes in random order there. The notes will work. there. So that pattern, I was just kind of picking starting points anywhere in the scale. You're going to find that as you play through, certain notes are going to sound good on the strong beats, one and three, or two and four, depending on the whether you're playing a swing or like a blues or a rock tune. And you just line up the chord tones that sound good on those particular beats. Now, one way to do this quickly 
is to practice some patterns. I like to divide them up into two like little four note chunks. Let's take the bottom two strings. There's this pattern. Or go up. Well, I can sit there and do something like, oh, let's say, uh, So I can make a little pattern that goes like this. So I just took a little four note pattern. I didn't have to do it particularly fast. I did a pull off with my pinky. I could do a hammer on. You can go uh, to the middle two strings. Those four, use them in a pattern together. So that's only those four notes. The bottom two strings, oh, that's gonna be a little bit less useful, it just depends on the style of music you're playing. So then you can just kind of divide up those little four note patterns between the two sets of strings, the top two, the middle two, and the lower two. So that's a quick way to begin to start uh, working on this. Now I've got just a couple of minutes left. Uh, I talked about doing a hammer on or a pull off. On the middle two strings, you can do a bend. On the third string, where your third finger is, that's a strong finger, bend that note up. The second string, that top note, right there. If I use my pinky, a lot of guitarists use their third finger. So you can use a bend. There's the bend. Bend. strings. So those bent notes are in there. Once you start getting this down, you can start adding blue notes in. Blue notes are sort of the notes between the notes. That gets starts to get complicated at that point. Uh, we got a minute and a half left. Try this out, uh, just break it down. Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. Learn it up and down. All I've been doing with my pick the whole time is just down strokes. When you get a little bit faster, you can go up and down strokes, alternate them. Uh, let's just go ahead and wrap it up on it and I'm gonna play on the way out here.